Okay, so you're going to use the Nolan oil like this. It's going to be a wash with a small brush. You don't want a lot, you just want a little bit. And then you're going to just graze it along the surface with the cracks and crevices. It's okay to wipe a little bit off. That's going to be for the cracks and crevices. This stuff is acrylic, so it actually cleans up really easily. Now, as far as the raised areas, just give me one second for it to focus. So the raised areas are going to be kind of like that. You're going to dab it on so it's a wash, not a paint. Just kind of dab it on like that. And then what you do is dry off your brush on a paper towel or something. And then you're going to take the tip of the brush, soak up the remainder. Just like that. And you're going to get a little bit of a mess, which is perfectly fine. Because as soon as that's done, a little tool that I made is just cut the cut a Q-tip, cardboard Q-tip into an angle. And then use that to clean up your mess. Wait till it dries. Then you can clean that up. Alright, so now that this is dry, I'm going to show you, and you want to take the tip of the cardboard Q-tip, so that way it does not scratch the surface. So if there's any anything that you might have painted, you don't want to scratch that. So, we are going to take this. And it will it will remove the excess Nolan oil, which gives you a bit of a darker line. This way, you don't have to worry about using pens on areas that you can't get to, or using ink that you don't want. This is a good wash to use. It's one of my favorites. I swear by it. And then you got raised areas with a, bit, a little bit of shadow. You can touch it up as you need, and you got in the crevices that some of those Gundam markers won't even touch. Just like that. And it's acrylic, so it's it'll clean up with water if you ever spill or anything. And also, in other areas, it gives it a nice shaded effect. So it's. The more you add, the darker it's going to get. Or you can add a little bit and give a nice shadow.